And it's time to finally work on my car. Um, as you can see, Rich has now taken off all the sealant across the roof. Sorry, we didn't. Drill that works. Oh, uh, batteries are charged over there. Yeah, so, yeah. Rich was taking off all the uh, rubber sealant all around this uh, roof. Just last little bits. Um, sorry, I didn't record actually taking the sunroof out. We just wanted to get it out and done with. But all it is is basically here's my sunroof. It's an aftermarket. It was never uh, someone cut it in before, but like after the car was made. Sorry. So all it is is like a metal uh, frame that sits around the edge just here. If you can see, there's like little screw holes here all around. The metal frame sits around there. The sealant along the top, and the metal frame squeezes it together according to the sealant to, of course, stick. So um, today we are doing my roof in my special flake in my uh, custom mix. So we're going to get all the sealant off, then we're going to sand it with 500, uh, get it nice and smooth, and then literally that is it, and we'll start hitting up the base coat and flaking that. Um, we might be re-clearing my spoiler as well, my carbon fiber duck bill. It's just looking a bit depressed and needing some TLC. So uh, I'll be recording it, I'll be time-lapsing it, I'll set you up somewhere. I'll time-lapse me and Rich, stripping this room, and um, yeah. It should be a nice little episode for you guys to see how uh, my roof comes out. That is the roof baked off. Uh, I tried to go in with another coat just to 
we sort of build it up, but as you can see it's run out just ever so slightly there. So I'm just gonna quickly fire under the roof because when the flake hits it, you're not gonna see no imperfections whatsoever. So I'm just gonna fly it off, get it nice and smooth, but fucking hell, listen to that. That shit's gone down like a fucking treat. So I'm gonna get this out, Matt's gonna get that in. We're gonna swap places. He's gonna spot prime in where well, you lay in base. Yeah, he's gonna lay base, spot prime the, just the bond there. I'm gonna flat, clean off, probably remask, and then hit it with some base after he's done. Booty. Good evening, good morning, good night. Hello. Back again. Just literally about to jump in the booth. Renegade Max, so we're using HMG straight black, already pre mixed stuff. So, you literally, it's um, pre mixed because I had some pre mix yeah. and it was a lot. I put it in there. There you go, then. So, basically, uh, you just give it a little stir, make sure there's no chunks in that. Then. Usually, it's two to one. Usually, it's two to one, yeah. but in this case, you just pour it straight in the gun. HMG is very nice base coat. Yeah. And we've just painted that, so it's like four in the morning. Just painted that bloody thing. So now he's going into face this fucking thing up. Make sure I'm home for like half six, seven, because my wife then goes to work and I've got to look after our little daughter tomorrow or today. Even. Um, we've not slept. He'll go home and sleep. I won't because <laughs> she won't let me. Anyway, this is where we're at. So that's Kurt's flake. Can I grab some more binder? Running low. He's barely tacky anymore. What? He's barely tacky. Reckon for another coat? Only a bit of minutes. No, it won't need long. Do it for Another two minutes? Yeah. Where's my thingy on gone? Oh, just... Can you open up? Oh, that's over there. Okay, so. Right. Oh, okay. Let's go strong. Shit. Maximum effort, that's what I need. Maximum effort, yeah, right. Cost me the empty tin of binder. Fuck's sake, I hate it when it does this. Stop smashing. XB155 binder is mixed two to one now. So now I've got to measure up the grammage that we're going to be doing. And this this is um, 
Kurt's own flake from Frankie's flakes. So let me see if I can get you in. There we go. So that's Kurt's mix. That's what he wants. So that's what he's getting. So we're giving it a good shake out. There's a good variety there of what Kurt wants. So thoroughly, thoroughly stir, 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 mix, mix, mix. Make sure we get all that flakiness doing what it should. And the test. Oh, we could probably go a bit more than that. Yeah. Oh my lord. Probably got another 10 grams to be honest. Oh shit. Right. right, as you guys can see, we're in the booth now. We're about to spray the uh, flick with the wind on. That's what we're going out like. Roof off, it's gonna mean one thing. The roof is ugh, it's alright. It's done, it's been baked off now. I've done three coats of liquid glass. It hasn't but it's not gonna be flat or polished anytime soon, just due for the fact of it's um gonna have to cure. And I'm going to Ford Motorsport on Saturday coming, Saturday the 10th of September. So oh, basically. It hasn't come out to what I was thinking it would be in my mind, but it's still, it's still quite nice. It's got a nice little colour combination to it, but they just don't pop as much as I wanted to. I, I reckon it's the black base coat is not metallic enough. To be honest, it's got no metallic in it. That's probably why they're not popping as much. So if I had sort of a high metallic base coat, I think these, these um, metal flake would pop better. Uh, we did add some silver in the last coat, <coughs> sorry, the last coat of the metal flake, but um, I think we needed to add that at the start and build that up because that really brought the um, flake to life. But for now, I, I do like it. It's a massive improvement. I, I am really pleased with it. I just want to know what the sun will look like on X. I'm really intrigued to see how that comes out. Um, I just, with the sunroof as well, just over there, as you can see, I've just... Um, Use the bit, use the base coat off of this and just cleared it with some liquid glass, three coats of that. Uh, just, you know, it's because it was a bit dull. So that's a bit of spruced up. Um, this is all right, I'm gonna get this out now. It is like uh, half seven, no, sorry, 20 to eight in the morning on Wednesday morning, the day <laughs> the day after we start this. I, I put an all night so and Matty. Matty helped me a lot. Thanks Matty. Matty's gone home though. Matty went home about an hour, hour and a half to, yeah, hour and a half ago now. Um, so yeah, I'm still here. I'm gonna drag this out, unmask it, bolt that back in. I'm not gonna seal it up because we, we're not getting any rain. I'm not gonna seal it up until um, this is cured a little, still a little bit soft, but um, not until it's like fully, fully cured. Of course, follow my Instagram, uh, eg underscore Kurt. Uh, follow the page, Frankie's Speed Shop. Uh, like our Facebook, go follow us on Twitter. Uh, add us on Snapchat, it's all on the social media just up there. Uh, as always guys, have a beautiful day. Deuces.
custom metal brick. Look at the colours. Testing oh, ladies and gentlemen, mm, boys and girls, back, the, one, back again with the Renegade Mass and the people once again for the Renegade Right, so basically, we done some testing while we was waiting. Yeah, my PRI gun is poorly, my primer no. gun anyway. She, she's, she's poorly. Putting, she's putting lines, she's not spraying even. No, she, she's spraying really fucking retarded at the moment, so she needs a good service. I reckon it's spent for the tip or one of the air channels damaged in the way. I should have a new one coming soon anyway. Right, so yeah, we, we, we tried to put it through this, it didn't exactly go to plan. Um, and then we. Switching back to what worked? Yeah, we're switching back to the. Is it PRI? No, the GTI, ProLite. ProLite with the 1.4 fluid tip and T28 cap. Yep. I'm still learning the gun names because I'm a salt man and I still don't know the salt names. Right, let's go do this. Right, let's go hit it. Fucking going all out. We're going all out. We decided to hit it for the 2.5. It's just to stick with yeah. what I actually know. Yeah. I don't, we ain't got time to fuck about. I wish we did. Yeah. See, we, we tried it. It laid quite nice, but it's not 
it's not laying ahead of the not doing it what, what I want. So, no, so two five should. Um, this is my out. standard fake gun. So. Yeah, it's it's what we laid the roof with, and that came out fucking beautiful. So let's hit it hard. They're destroying things. Well, we're creating things. Perfect gun. It's amazing that gun is just unreal. How old is it? No, this is my new one. Is my it new, a new one? My newer one. Newer one, right, okay. The PRO that plays up is about four and a half years old. Four and a half, bro. And it's still kicking about. Wow. We should have done that. Microflake. Here it is, I suppose. Through 2.5. Hey, practice makes perfect. Uh huh. It's not rocket science. Frankie speed shop where we don't tend to go home for some unknown fucking reason. So I was trying to get this stage off. Right, so I've got to do another stage of polishing. And then we've got the current Civic in and we've just laid our new um, ice pearls. So we put one coat on his spoiler and we put three coats I think on it over his flaked roof. And then on the other side, we've got these fucking nutters. It fits now. I'm trying to fit some nine and a half by 17 inch work wheels. They definitely fit. On this poor little MX-5 that they basically just break the ass off of.
Good evening, good morning, good night. Our Frankies. I hope we got enough in here anyway. We should do. Throw the last coat of clear on. Last coat on my roof and my spoiler. I'm gonna hit it hard. What's left anyway? Yeah. By far the best boss in the world, hands down. In the world. In the world. So basically, I came in and um, I only came in to work just because I had a little problem with my radio. Bloody bloody blah, blah. Long story short, I sort of thought, fuck it, might as well flat across my roof while I'm here. So I started off with the 12. Uh, and now we've got like three coats of clear on them. So yeah, yeah. When you last saw us, we laid the three coats of final clear after flattening it. So on and so forth. So I let it cure, let it go off. It's gone off really it's fucking nice. Hard. Yeah, it's hard as nice. This shit's gone fucking real hard. So basically, I came in with the 1200, 1200, the whole fucking thing. Nice and flat, then 15. And so that's fucking put smooth. Put three together on your block. Yeah, I put three on the long block on the purple long block there. I put three fucking pads, three 1200 pads and then three 1500 pads. Long. Cross hatching motions to get the best finish, and it actually came out real fucking nice. It went up to like 2000 and 3000 on the DA, and that, that shit was fine as anything. And then now Matt is just going over with the compound, and look at this shit. We are only, yeah, we're just using the one compound because we're, we're at 3000. Yeah. I did my mum's MX5 today with this. Ah, oh, they're getting wet. Um, in the corner. And the new quartz pads. There's not much left of this one, but if you go to 3000, these are epic with the yellow compound, which is the second stage compound. Um, two passes, rinse obviously, rinse everything out, and then it comes up like that. Comes up like this. Just look at it. <laughs> Just look at the depth. So it's amazing. Oh, we're doing man. lovely firm pressure. As you can hear, we're not fast at all. We're really, really working that compound into the ground. Yeah, getting that heat in, watching our heat rings. To make sure we're not focusing too much on one area. Watching those heat rings. And the heat rings are basically the indicator. The, yeah, the, they, um, where you see the compound dry, like you'll see it dry, but it dries out here. Well, that's your heat ring. So we're just working here, getting that fucking heat into this panel. Removing those 3,000 grit scratches. Like so. And then all we're going to do after this, this is the second pass. Alright, and we're pretty, I mean, you can carry on, but I think we're pretty much there. And this. Alright, and then we get our pressure bottle, because obviously we've got loads of compound on here. 
which all needs cleaning off. So we hit it with the dab, hit it with the dab, hit it with the dab. Ah, uh, cool. Right, so we've got one really interrupted. So now, literally, we just rinse out the pad, dab it on the bottom, we just get that compound out of this pad and basically clean this as we go. Dry yeah, if you wash it like this, you see, when you go to wipe it down, you basically get fucking shit. Get your uh, beautiful microfiber towel. Yes, which we get from Auto Perfection. Lovely man called Aaron, who I met for the first time today. Did you meet him? I did indeed. He's cool. He's a fucking sound lad. And then, let the magic happen. As you can see, transformed into um, glass. Basically. Fucking glass. Look at the reflection of his hand. Look. This is a, you know, we got another stage to go, which we will go. Yeah. But that's basically what you end up with. On a day-to-day -day basis. It's unreal. It's unreal. Well, you don't want to just see us do the whole roof, so we'll crack on and we'll catch up with you when we, we're we done on the first stage. Yeah, and we'll Two move passes on the first stage. The stage. Huh? We'll move to the... We'll move to the next... Thing. The next stage of mankind. 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 Right, I hope you enjoyed that video of Kurt flaking out his roof. Um, you can tell Kurt filmed it, it was all over the place. But there's some tips, there's some tricks, and uh. You got to see Frankie's Ice Pearls, which we're going to start bringing into the market as well. So, uh, mirror finish as normal, his own custom mix, and we can do custom mixes for whatever you guys are feeling. Now, I've had a message. Uh, we get a lot of messages for, for shout outs, but this one I could not turn down. Uh, my buddy Kieran has messaged us, and apparently his son likes to watch, or his boys, sorry, like to watch uh, the Frankie Speed Shop videos. Uh, before they go to bed. I don't know why, it's pretty darn cool. So what I thought was we're gonna give his boy a shout out, but instead of me doing it, I thought I'd get my boys to give the shout out. So, we wanna thank Carter for watching Frankie Speed Shop videos. So, take it away boys. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching my dad's videos. Uh, oh yeah, I by the way, we just hit what? How many? A million? Yeah, they know views. we're over a million. But this is, this is a thank you and a shout out yeah. to Carter for watching for watching our videos. Uh -huh. Thank Hope you. you enjoy them as well. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. <clears throat> shout out to Carter uh, and Kieran who comments on all our stuff. Uh, fair play. And I hope you guys enjoy all the other videos we've got coming up.